Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman. I'd like to welcome you back. Remember, we believe that when you change your health, you'll change your life. And our motto is, we want to add years to your life and life to your years. We've been talking about hyperthyroidism. Let's talk about how to treat hyperthyroidism naturally. I want to remind you to join us next week when we talk about more topics regarding your health. Now remember, our goal for everyone is to get well, heal your body, stay healthy as naturally as possible. So it's important to take a look at, is there a possible way to treat hyperthyroidism naturally? First of all, let's tell you that there probably is no complete cure for hyperthyroidism. But through proper diet and lifestyle changes, you can make a radical difference in it. Now, if you followed us much, you've heard me say it time and time again. The foundations of health are always diet, exercise, and stress reduction. So it won't surprise you that number one, as far as treating hyperthyroidism naturally, is going to be with your diet. What are the keys there? Some of them are very obvious. Number one, get rid of the fast food. Eliminate the sugar in your diet. Watch your salt intake. The reason is most salt has iodine in it. And here's the key. Too much iodine is only going to increase your hyperthyroidism problems because iodine is a factor in producing thyroid hormones. So if you've got hyperthyroidism to start with, you don't want to add more fuel to the fire by getting a lot of iodine in your diet. So that's number one. Number two, exercise. Here we are again, a topic we've talked about frequently in the past in regards to your health. With hyperthyroidism, your body, all your metabolic processes have sp are sped up essentially. It's almost like you're on speed. You've got a lot of anxiety, stress, sleep disorders, weight loss. Exercise will help balance that out. Here's the other key with exercise. When you start treating hyperthyroidism, actually your metabolism will tend to slow down to a more normal level. However, we've told you that with hyperthyroidism, oftentimes you'll see weight loss. So now as your metabolism slows down, you need that exercise, you need that extra activity to make sure that your body weight stays within a normal range. The third thing, reduce stress. Well, you've also heard us say in the past that all of us have people, places, and things in our lives that cause stress and only you or I personally know what those are. But you need to look at your life and look at the peripheral things going on in your life to see what can I eliminate to minimize the stress in my life. The fourth thing is sleep. Now, it's virtually impossible to maximize your health without proper sleep. So, what we suggest our patients do is get yourself on a sleep schedule. Not just during the work week, but seven days a week. You need to get at least seven to nine hours of sleep. That's ideal for most patients. So you've got to figure that out for yourself, but then at that point in time, you schedule that. So 10 to six, 11 to seven, everything else is off the board. Those are the hours that you rest your body so your body gets into this normal rhythm. <clears throat> Number five, supplements. Because hyperthyroidism speeds up your metabolism, you're burning through fuel. Some of that fuel are vitamins, minerals, things like that that exist in your system. The most common problems we find with our patients are deficiencies in vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Here's the beauty of that. Those are both easily measured with blood tests. So if you have a problem with your thyroid and it is hyperthyroidism, your doctor can do some very simple tests to evaluate what those levels are. And then the simplicity of treating it is using supplements. So there you go. There's our recommendations, folks, for treating hyperthyroidism naturally. I look forward to seeing you at our next lecture when we continue this journey to correct your health problems. Thanks again for watching tonight. I'd like to invite you to take a look at our blog post where we discuss these topics in more detail. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like on Facebook. Leave us a comment with questions or topics you'd like us to cover. This is Dr. Mark Newman. I appreciate you joining us.